Good evening, everyone. Uh, I am hoping everything is working and you will be able to listen to us tonight. Uh, just checking to make sure I can find it. Yep, there we are. Son of a gun. That's us. Okay. Uh, it's going to be another very special night. We have Billy Graham with us. And we've checked in with Laura and Reverend Graham, and he is very much ready to speak to us. Uh, pull this up a little bit. And then just kill a little bit of time before we start. Uh, you probably all recognize my book. Very important. There are two chapters in this book that will be very, very important for the next book coming out in the spring. And the next book is about channeling the life of Jesus. And the two chapters in this book that are so important are one devoted to the universal God and another one that is devoted to universal reincarnation. Both those concepts are very, very important to us understanding what, we, what will be taking place. Uh, so anyway, I hope that you will consider buying it and reading those chapters in preparation for the very, very important book that will be coming uh, out hopefully in the spring. It's at the publisher. So with that being said, why don't we go ahead and get started with what we were here really here for tonight, which is to hear a wonderful message from Reverend Graham and to have him answer questions for us, which uh, he's agreed to do. So anyway. Reverend Graham, are you with us tonight? Yes. I, I am here. I'm here tonight to, to once again speak the words of God. It, it, has, it has been a while since my words were were spoke were spoken to many people. Tonight is very special. I want to start by saying that I am very appreciative of the opportunity to speak to all of you. In my life, I spoke many words of God, and those words were heard by millions of people. Tonight, I know the crowd is much smaller, but very, very important. God has selected many of you to fulfill a mission of spreading his words of love and, and trying to stop the spread of the effects of Satan. Satan is, is very real in your lives and is gaining strength. Only spreading the true words of God will, will slow the advance of Satan. Together we will be successful. Barry and Connie are are bringing you the true words 
of God. They, they were, they were sent back for this specific mission. What they tell you is the actual truth. I, I will try, I will try to amplify on their, on their words and explain many things here tonight. I, I helped Barry make up many, many questions that he will ask tonight. Many are controversial, but I intend to answer them truthfully as I attempted to answer all things truthfully while in life. Just, just know that, that you are the chosen ones. Go forth and spread the words of God, and you will find your <coughs> rewards with me in heaven. Jesus is very aware of, of what we are doing here tonight. This is my, my first real attempt to spread his words since arriving on this side. God will bless all of you as he has blessed me. I will now begin to answer the questions. Okay. How would you prefer that I address you? Uh, Billy, Reverend Graham, how would you prefer? I want to be very respectful. You, you can call me brother, but, but the rest can refer to me as Reverend Graham. Can you tell us what heaven is like? It, it is beyond description. It is the most magnificent place. All, all things are possible here. Those that 
those that have spoken of our God are in are in realms where all is possible. Those that have not spoken of God nor believed in him are in lower realms and are not having the same experiences. Who greeted you when you finally arrived home? When I crossed over, Jesus was was waiting for me as as well as my my mother and many of the holy spirits that you have conversed with. What is your role now that you are in heaven? My role is to continue spreading the words of God. I will try my best to influence others and and show them the path to knowing and loving God. How did you serve God in other prior lives? I served our our God in many, many lifetimes prior to the one as Billy Graham. Did you ever serve God on other planets? Of course, as did all of you. Humans have not walked the earth nearly as long as your soul energies have existed. Therefore, all of you have served our God on other planets. Did you, in a prior life, ever walk the earth with Jesus? Yes. I was, I was blessed to have lived at the same time as our Lord. He, he was my, my father and I was his, his son. In, in your book, you, you will 
tell all of the truth concerning the actual life of, of our Lord. As you are well aware, there were four other brothers and and sisters that were a member of our family. You were also there as well. That is why why you have such a personal relationship with our Lord. He he watches closely over you and Connie and leads and advises you as as you spread the words of God. Would you like to give us more details about that prior life? Much of of those details will be in your next next book. Just suffice at this time to say that our soul history has has been deeply intertwined can you tell me what your mother's name was in that prior life with jesus yes as you are aware our mother's name was Toba. She, she is, she is with me here in heaven and watches over you and Connie as well. In that lifetime, did you know John the Baptist? Yes. John, John was our friend and and stayed with us many times. He, he was a wonderful person in life. A lot of fun and humor. He, he loved the family of our Lord. In your lifetime with Jesus, did you ever discuss reincarnation? No. 
he he left us at a relatively young age to begin his mission. Once he left, I never saw him in life again. I, I now see him on a regular basis. In your lifetime as Billy Graham, what was your opinion of reincarnation? I did, I did not accept the concept of reincarnation. I believed that your soul lived a single lifetime and either went to heaven or to hell. What is your current view about reincarnation now that you're on the other side? Obviously it has changed. Now that I am here, it is very apparent that reincarnation is the basis of how your soul progresses. You preached the Bible was the infallible word of God. Now that you're on the other side, do you still believe that? No. Now that I am with our Lord, I can, I can see how man has <clears throat> manipulated his words so that they can have more power. What would you say to evangelical Christians that believe every word of the Bible is true? I would say, I would say to them that they should open their minds and try to understand that there are parts of the Bible that reflect my father's words, but there are, are also parts that are incorrect. I know that is a very difficult concept and in life I would have rejected it. The, the act of dying opens one's mind. When evangelical Christians arrive on the other side, do they have trouble accepting the truth? Yes. At first, <clears throat> I had trouble accepting the realities 
of the truth of my father's true teachings. I, I quickly learned that all of what I spoke in life was not correct. Much, much was, especially the part about finding the love of God. You preach that Jesus died on the cross to save the souls of man. Do you still believe that? No. I now know that he <clears throat> died on the cross so <clears throat> that he would be remembered. You preached that there would be a time when Jesus would return. What do you now believe? Jesus will never return. It is possible that God will decide to return in another form, but the form of Jesus will not return. What words of the Bible do you consider the most distance, distant from the words of God? I, I believe that preaching the fear of God and the act of going to hell are some of the greatest errors in the Bible. God is love, not fear, and there is no hell. What is your opinion about Revelations? The book of Revelations was influenced by Satan. That book is totally wrong. There, there will be no end of days if humans cease to exist. It will be because of their own actions. What did you preach about hell? I, I followed the words in the Bible and spoke of the fires of hell. I now know that hell does not exist in that form. 
However, there, there is a lower realm of nothingness that would be similar to hell. What would you tell us about the realms of heaven? There, there are, there are seven realms or levels in heaven. Your soul has to experience all possible and share a true love of God to progress in those realms. God is in the seventh seventh realm as are many of the holiest of souls. Which president that you met did you consider the closest to God? I thought that Lyndon Johnson was closest to God. I was very upset when I learned the truth of his life. In life, you were a very close friend of Lyndon Johnson. Now that you're on the other side, what do you think of him? He has, he has been sent to the lowest level for all the terrible things he did in, in life. He was responsible for the death of, of President Kennedy. For that, he will pay dearly. Do you and Harry Truman now get along on the other side? Yes, Harry and I have resolved our differences. What is your opinion of President Obama? He, he was, he was not what he appeared. I would like to say no more about that. Were you ever anti-Semitic? Unfortunately, in, in my youth, I did have some, some anti-Semitic thoughts. As I grew older, I put them behind me. What was your opinion about women?
I tried to keep women as they as they were mentioned in the Bible. I always thought they were equals, but in many ways, I did not act like that. Why did you not allow your daughters to be educated for a career? I thought the place of a woman was in the home with a husband. I considered educating women as being disruptive to a happy home life. Were you homophobic? Unfortunately, once again, I, <clears throat> I did have those thoughts in my youth. What is your current opinion of homosexuality? While I personally do not think it is natural, the individuals are judged by how they live their lives and their love of God. Did you preach that those who do not believe in God could be saved? I preached that the love of God was vital to salvation. I now know that it is possible to live a good life without believing in God and that the non-believer will be forgiven. What was your opinion on segregation during the 1950s and 60s? I felt that segregation was, was wrong, but that I was influenced by the people around me. I did, I did not do as much as I should have concerning segregation. What was your opinion about Martin Luther King? I did not believe he, he was a true leader. I now understand differently. What do you think 
of Pastor Terry Jeffers. I think he is trying to take my place. If he is capable of doing that remains to be seen. What is your opinion of the Catholic Church? I am, I am saddened by what the church has become. They have not protected the young <clears throat> from abuse and they will pay a price. I, I love the Catholic people that share my love of God. <clears throat> what is your opinion of the current Pope? He, he is, he is not doing what needs to be done <clears throat> to save the Catholic Church. He has protected those that abused the young. What will be the fate of the current Pope? He, he will, he will soon step down. Why is there such a divide between evangelicals and Catholics? The leaders of both sides have exaggerated the differences between the two churches. It is the fault of the leaders, not the people. Is there anything about your life as Billy Graham that you would change? Yes. I, I would like to relive the early parts of my life where I had negative thoughts about segregation, uh, homosexuality, and, and the role of reincarnation. I guess being over here really points out your mistakes. Are you planning to reincarnate anytime soon? That is a decision up to 
our Lord when he decides it is time for me to return, I will return. You reach more millions of people, more you preach to more people than any other pastor in history. What would you suggest that Connie and I do to reach more people? Just continue as, as you are building a strong nucleus of followers. Those that follow you must build their strength and knowledge so that they can also be effective. When the time arrives, you will reach many. Do you have a message for Connie and myself? Yes. We watch what you do and are and are pleased. We know that you are doing your best. In the future, you will heal many and that will generate confidence that you really do speak the words of God. What would you have the members of this group do to spread the words of God? They must stand firm in their convictions concerning the love of God. Once they have no doubts, it, it will become easier for them to spread his words. It, it is, it is difficult when among skeptics. We will assist each in their special mission. Do you have a message for any specific members of the group? Yes. I want, I want Kim to know that she has special abilities and will learn to use them and help carry on after you and Connie are unable. Elena needs to get serious about her mission.
I will come to members individually in their dreams and give them advice. <sighs> Do you have a special message, a uh, final message for us? Yes. You, you heard much information tonight from me. I appreciate the opportunity to once again speak the words of God. Jesus is, is here with me tonight and, and wants to give the final blessing. Yes, he is. I, I want all to know how, how proud I am of what each and every one of you is accomplishing. You now know of, of my love and my ability to send the holiest of spirits to you with messages. Spread the words of my love for all and that I am always with you. Your prayers are heard. Have faith in God and all will be well. God bless all of you here tonight. Spread my words as you hear them from Barry and Connie. They are truly my words. Amen. 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 Okay. Uh, that was an unexpected pleasure. And I certainly thank uh, Reverend Graham and especially Jesus for coming through for us tonight. God bless all of you, and I will have the transcript up on my website, uh, wordsofgodthenandnow.com, and I have all of the videos posted on my YouTube channel under my name, Barry Strong. and if you would please subscribe to it when you go on, it would be a help. I thank you. God bless you all. And we will be back again in a couple of weeks with another one of these wonderful sessions. Good night, all.